Oh boy, here we go again. We have another shooting to talk about of an unarmed black man and uh, police brutality. Again, Dante Wright pulled over for expired tags in a town right outside of Minneapolis where George Floyd was killed last year and where the current trial of Derek Chauvin is underway. I don't know how I feel. I lose faith in the establishments that are supposed to keep us safe. I'm constantly reminded of the biases that are out there that constantly subject minorities to things as this. And I just got to say, when does it stop? Or does it ever stop? The realistic side of me says, no, things won't change to the point to where we don't have to have these discussions every year. However, a part of me has hope that maybe some way the universe kind of makes this a better place for us minorities. I don't think it was an accident that Kim Potter mistaked her firearm for a taser. 26 years on the force? Don't think so. It should be muscle memory at that point. And at the point where she pulled out her gun during the traffic stop, there was time for her to realize that she had her gun out, her firearm, and not her taser. But that was the excuse given from the police chief during a press conference. If you watch the video, what I encourage you to do, it's way less violent than the George Floyd body cam video, but still, it's uncomfortable to watch. Some of you out there are going to say, well, this situation was kind of justified because he had a warrant out. He was resisting arrest. Still doesn't justify the fact to kill the guy, even if he was resisting. I thought these officers, especially 20 plus year officers, have some type of diffusion skills to where they can not use deadly force to restrain, if you want to say that word, a, a unruly suspect of a crime, right? I just wish that people would take us minorities more seriously, and not just when it's reactionary to situations that you're glued to the TV to watch because we're still at home because of a pandemic. I want you to think about it every damn day to consciously think of how we can try to make this place a little bit more even for minorities. We talk stop Asian hate recently because of the violence that's been in Atlanta and other places because of the pandemic, directed towards Asians, because whatever stupid hatred that they have for Asians makes them believe that they caused the virus and put it into everybody else across the world, as if they didn't die as well from this worldwide pandemic. Then we're constantly reminded about how we're oppressed As black people. It's a constant reminder that doesn't need reminding. 
And I just like the corporations out there, large corporations that seem to be trying to do the right thing. I, I believe a lot of them have good intention, but money is still the common denominator. And they will be vigilant to do the right thing as long as the bottom line makes sense to them. But we're being included in all these unbiased trainings, unconscious bias training, which I can teach the class. Because I live it in different ways through being black in America. I don't have much police, um, you know, history at all. I know police people. I get pulled over speeding tickets before. But never have I been handcuffed and such. I'm blessed at that. Because I've been prepared by my family, and I've seen things that happen growing up in the South as a black man. I don't take things for granted, but I'm not a fear monger either. However, I think we should still have conversation constantly. You might get tired of it. Hell, I'm tired of it. We shouldn't even have to talk about this. You ever had a serious talk with family member that you just pissed off that you have to keep having that conversation with because they keep stealing your shit or hurting you? But you still got to have it, right? You're not going to let the shit fly. I do intend on talking about this more in depth later on a more long form podcast. Coming up on the Mavcast podcast. Because I think we still have to go through the details To hammer home why this is so important, why this is not new, but why it still hurts us so much, especially in the stage of evolution us humans should be at. It's stupid to still go through these things. I know some of you are like, yeah, well, you know, cops get killed too. Yeah, I know. That's why you carry a gun, because it's dangerous. But with that, you have to learn other techniques than pulling for the firearm. There are other ways. There are other ways. I just want to take time out and express my thoughts right now. Because it's... It's just fucking stupid why this still has to go on. In our supposedly advanced society, the richest country in the world has the most goddamn problems that we want to sweep under the rug, but we're so quick to talk about material shit. I commend the NBA for postponing their games and standing up for minority lives. They don't have to do that, but I respect it. Young kids out there are standing up for what they believe is right. We're at the precipice again of a turning point in our society for this year. I feel it building. Is it a repeat of last year? I think it's going to be different because we have different leadership. But the details... The devil's in the details, man. It looks like a repeat. Sad to say. But I just wanted to take some time and speak my mind. Be blessed out there. Stay safe. Mask up. And, um, man, I really hope Things get better. Until next time, have a wonderful day.